It's long. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Imani to come now. He usually he is usually here at Burger King by now. I yeah. I'm I'm waiting for him to walk come here first. It's long. Yep. We some we have missed each other. One day I yeah we did, and I'm waiting for him to come now. Hold on, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Okay, hold on one second. I'm I'm still I can't get a reception that hold on one second, okay? One second. Okay, I hear uh, it's a little bit better. No, hold on. Let me walk over here. Sometimes my phone is like that. I, I have an Obama phone. My cell phone. I, yeah, I have an Obama phone. So, I, yeah, I'm thankful to have an Obama phone. I cannot afford to have, I mean, I can. I don't want to say afford. But I'll just say that I don't have the, um, yeah, I, I, right now, yeah, I choose to use my money in other, other, um, for other means. Like vegetarian, vegan food, yes, yeah, like vegetarian, vegan food, and I'm using my tablet too. Like, and exercising, I don't spend money on exercising, I, well, the, those pants, I spent money on. My day went well. Um, ha happy holy day to you too. I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. Um, I read the Compensated Emancipation Proclamation a while ago. Let me go inside because I don't want to miss Imani. Even by me being out here, he wears a big red. Um, he wear his red turban to work every day. I don't want to miss him. He should be here any moment. I'll wait. It's August the 10th, 2018. I read the compensated emancipation many um, before, and I'm, I, I started rewriting it, but I didn't finish. So what you are seeing online is, uh, and what Imani Gray hyphen Bay sees online is a partial, because it's a long, that is a very long proclamation of, that Abraham Lincoln did, President Abraham Lincoln, very long. So I did, um, I wrote most of it. Uh, I yeah, I copied most of it, but I'm still in the process of copying, finishing it. Um, today, oh, once again, it was a good day. Um, the guy that I called the cops on because I was using my tablet appeared today. Yeah, I haven't seen him here in a while. He's a black male, about 6'2", over 300 pounds. Yeah, he sat at the table with the, um, other, uh, with the other male that, um, comes in pretty much almost every day. 
and um, he don't he doesn't want me to touch his hand he wants me to put yeah he want me to put the money on the counter and not touch his hand yeah okay yeah both of them are black or consider black males I don't know if they reclaim their nationality or not but that's what um, black males yeah many um the red truck, um, yeah, it does remind me of um, my Honda, the red Honda. It does. I am still waiting for Imani. Hopefully he'll be here. Yeah, um... Well, the guy, uh, the guy, um, there's, it, it does, it's, it's bright red, yep, I miss that, I miss my red Honda, it's actually, I think they're pretty much the same tint, the guy, um, quite a few, um, black males that imply to represent the military, I don't know if they do, uh, they sit at the same table with the black male that does not want me to touch his hand, uh, they either represent the army or the navy, well, he, he told the um, manager, the owner of the store, that he did not want me to touch his hand, that he wants me to put the money on the counter. This is when I first started working at Burger King. I was probably working at Burger King maybe about six, approximately six, I don't know, I documented, maybe about six or seven months. And then maybe, I don't know, two months ago, he um, was in line with an, a, a look like a perceived black female. I don't know if she was, if that's, if she reclaimed a nationality, but she, she, he was telling her that um because she asked him why do you not want to touch her hand and he said it's that's not me that's her like it's something like this is a personal vendetta like there like there was something personal between between us i was like i just stayed quiet and um and then they were going back and said you know and, and then she said i just continue to um, be professional because i don't know the male i have no idea i don't know i don't know him personally he just one day told the owner that he did not want me to touch his hand and he's been he comes in Burger King almost every day of the week yeah many of the males that sit there do um, have like Navy or Army on their their car or truck or on their hat or whatever so he, he was telling her that he was saying that I requested not to touch his hand and I was, I just, and then she seemed to get upset and said she was going to call corporate or something. I got quiet and I just documented it. Yeah. I, I, I was like that because uh, all this time he's been saying he did, you know, yeah, I've been trying to respect it. Even if we make a mistake, sometimes he get up uh, and I maybe give him, I hand his um, money to him. Like I'm about to um, not put it on the counter. I say I forget because I'm always handing money to uh, yeah, I'm always get, putting money in people's hands, so I forget. So please um, don't take it personally, sir. You know, I try to keep it very professional. Yeah, I do. I said, yeah. Um, well, actually, two Fridays ago or Friday ago, I worked with the owner, Janelle, and um, he actually... Um, I brought it up again because uh, I think we almost we were about to um, I think almost like, or he was about to hand me the money or he hand me the money I said, and I remind him because I worked with Janelle the owner the one that he told he uh, specifically told her to tell me not to touch his hand and it's like he reached and was giving me his money I don't know his name I can tell you what it seemed like they implied to call him but I don't know his name um, sometimes they imply to call him Charlie I don't know though I don't know if that's him or not I, I truly I mean any I don't know if it's that that could be but that's what they when people say Charlie he answers sometimes so I notice yeah so um and he, I, he did this in front of the owner and I said oops I'm sorry sir um you did request not to, for me not to touch your hand yeah that's it I don't know where he, I'm I don't know. It looks like in, um, Wendy's is pretty slow. I don't think he got off work early. I have to go check and see. I 
I'm waiting for him to come. Oh, you're asking about the spiritual? Yes, that's why I quoted Matthew, the Holy Bible, because it's not, it's not easy to prove when things are happening on a spiritual plane. And, um, and if it's dealing with science or technology, you can't prove that. Yes, you say that to people, they'd be like, prove it on a physical plane. But you can prove um, harassment on a physical plane. If you uh, document whatever and stuff like that, but you can't, or, you know, somebody does harm or whatever on a physical plane, you can prove that. But if someone has the ability or masses of people have the ability to cause harm spiritually, how can you prove? Yes. And they do, right. Why would they want to cause harm? Why? That's, that would be the question. Why? Mental, uh, yeah, it's mentally unstable. Mentally unstable. And that is connected to spiritual. Here come, here's Imani now. But I don't know where, it's, oh, he might, okay, he looks like he's walking down. Hold on one second. Islam, he's in there waiting for me. It's okay. I wanted to do a video, yeah, I, yeah, with him. Yeah, so I would say they are definitely mentally unstable. It's about um, a, a, approximately 3.15 now, 3.15 p.m. Why do I keep saying they saying brother? Because, yes, they, they keep saying brother. I don't know what. Why would why would they why would they? Because they are. I don't know. That's part of being mentally unstable. Mentally unstable. Why would you keep saying brother and um, doing things or implying to do something? I don't. I don't know. We don't have the code that causes masses of people to be telepathic. And no, I have not. Let me finish this. Hold on. Hold on. No. Imani, do you have the code that calls masses of people masses of people to be telepathic? Stay right there. Put that down. Do you have the code? Okay. Make sure. Okay, yep. Do you have the code that causes masses of people to be telepathic? No. Okay. Do you want to have that code or whatever science that causes masses of people to be telepathic? Have you ever attacked someone's genitals? No. Have you ever attacked someone in a spiritual manner while they're sleeping? Why? Why would you not want to attack someone's genitals spiritually? Huh? Why would I? Do you think it's because it's the Allah in you as a man? Yes. Okay. Now, have you ever caused sharp pains to anyone? No. Forcefully? Why would you want to cause um, sharp pains to someone? Possibly is it because you... Is the soul in you, the Allah in you, according to Moorish 101s? 
and the teachings. Said, why, would I? why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, does Prophet Noble Jurali, Prophet Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, um, Confucius teach that? No. Teach to cause harm? No. No. Okay. Um, do you think this might have a connection to um, being in the constitutional fold? Not saying that everyone in the constitutional fold properly um, will behave in a righteous manner, but do you think this is possibly a connection to being in a constitutional fold and not having that science that caused masses to be telepathic? Do you have the ability to cause that sort of harm, that, that harm to anyone? No. I don't either. And I don't want the science or code that caused masses to be telepathic. Okay, what is um, one of the major, major parts of, not major parts, but some of the constitution that needs to always be affirmed in reference to naturalization. Can you give um, some of the um, constitution, not just um, the constitution of 1787, the U.S.A. constitution, but what other parts of the constitution, and, and according to naturalization, that must and should always be affirmed? The oath of MSC reconstruction, and who did that? No, President, uh, originally that came from President Abraham. Oh, okay. That's the answer I'm looking yeah. for. It, yeah, the answer I'm looking for is President Abraham. I know we took the um, Amnesty of Reconstruction, not Oath of Amnesty. We took the Amnesty of Reconstruction with Man with um, Moorish American National Republic. We did. But President Abraham Lincoln is the president that enforced it. Um, what other parts of the, pro of the, um, the Constitution in reference to being naturalized should always be affirmed or those who cannot affirm take an oath. 1320. The thirteen twenty? What is the thirteen twenty? And who did that one? Um, okay. Feel good about this and you dry here. Okay, and um, when was this ratified? The thirteenth amendment with twenty sections? So, excuse me, right now I just felt a sharp pressure on my left foot as someone beat the horn once. Now, why would someone uh, possibly uh, beat the horn and I might feel pressure in my left foot? As we talk about different laws of freedom. Because Abraham Lincoln um, speak different or uh, promoted laws of freedom. There's no bondage in his form of naturalization. You cannot say I paid or we paid or brother paid when you are implementing naturalization under the proclamations of Abraham Lincoln and 13th Amendment 20 sections, all right? You cannot, all right? So if you do, then you are in treason. You are treasonous against the U.S.A. Constitution, all right? So um, what else? Um, what other? The Declaration of Independence? Okay. Um, the Articles of Association, do you remember when that was? 1774. Alright, um, what else? The Articles of Confederation, 1778. Alright? Okay. <laughs> Something else, How? what gave Abraham Lincoln the right to pass the proclamations? Which are, no. That the proclamations are the Hebrew law in layman's terms. I know you're tired, you just got off work. But there is an article in the U.S.A. Constitution of 1787 that, that gave President Abraham Lincoln the right to pass those proclamations. Article yes, Article 4, Section 4, Islam. That's what we learned. So, um, okay. So, um, the reason, do, do you know anyone personally here in Annapolis? No. Do you have a girlfriend here, here in Annapolis? Say that loud. No. Do you know anyone personally here in Annapolis, Maryland? No. Okay. I don't either. And I don't have a boyfriend here. I'm married to Dwayne Bathfield Bay. All right. So if in that, 
Okay, let me continue. And I'm going to, this is probably a, ten, a five minute, uh, two more minutes. In that Imani Gray hyphen bay, um, if someone, if you're not in the constitutional fold, and if you're not um, implementing the divine laws of freedom, okay, and you're outside the constitutional fold, operating under a foreign jurisdiction, do you think most likely you'd be one of the ones that could be used as a terrorist um, to cause harm to others, whether you are promoting a different religion, could be Catholicism, Christianity, or Islam? Yes. Definitely. Definitely. So, um, if you're not promoting those divine laws of freedom, and you're not even implementing, or you're not demonstrating those laws mentally, physically, and spiritually, then you definitely, as an energy, being among energies of that, you know they will probably be one of the ones that could be used to cause um, harm or behave as a terrorist. Is that is that not right? I would think so. I think that that is a very true statement. So as divine souls of Moorish Americans, we are taught that we don't cause harm to anyone. We don't cause harm to anyone, and we are taught through um, the divine teachings of Abraham, um, of Prophet Noble Ali, Buddha, Confucius, um, Muhammad, Jesus, um, how to behave. And by reading the Quran, the Bible, the Holy Quran Circle 7. And also by attending um, the Temple of Moorish American National Republic, um, um, Temple 13. Allah is great, Islam. Um, that's it. That's all I want to say. Do you feel good? You don't look happy. I'm tired. Are you tired? Do you feel good not to know that you're not able to cause harm in this in this manner? Does it feel good? Yes. Does it feel good to say that I have never done that that type of harm to anyone? Yes. It makes me feel good too. Islam. All right. It is August the um, 10th, 2018. I'm Rhonda Arrington Hyphen Bay. What's your name? My name's a girl, right? Okay.